Open Source Community Ecology, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 304. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 304, January 20th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating, sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I wanna talk about is open source community ecology. Open source community ecology, well ecology is a relationship of organisms to their physical, to each other and to their physical relate, to their physical surroundings. And open source community ecology is really what we're creating. In the background of the video here, you can see the uh, replicable city center, the duplicable city center, as well as it'll show seven different sustainable village models that we are designing as self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs that can be built around the world. And the way that we're making them so that they will be self-replicating is by making them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating them as attractive enough so that they'll spread on their own. And these teacher demonstration hubs are designed to be an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, high good education models, high good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together to create an open source community ecology model that provides a better way of living than most people are living right now and thus it will become self-replicating. And how are we doing that? Well, those physical foundations of sustainability, the food, energy, and housing, along with the highest good education models and economic models, those are designed to reduce the expenses associated with living. They're meant to provide everything that a person needs in a way that is significantly more affordable than the way people are living right now. And also to provide a way of living that is more holistic. When you add in the, the fulfilled living practices and the stewardship model as well, it's meant to provide a way that is more holistic, it's more fulfilling, it's more enriching, provides more of the things that people want and more time to use those things. And what I mean by that is most people don't want more money. They want more of the things that money Will provide and so we're creating sustainable open source community ecology models and environments that provide that that enhance the interrelationships of us as individuals with each other as well as us as individuals with our surrounding community our nation our global family of humanity as well and so the open source community ecology model that we're creating is designed to provide a better way of living so that's more attractive than the way that people are living right now making it attractive enough so it will spread on its own and then making it as affordable and as easy to replicate as possible so that it facilitates that whole process. And we think this open source community ecology model has the potential to positively and permanently transform our world for the benefit of everyone. Through a self-replicating model like this, if we can make it self-replicating, and that really comes down to making it easy enough, demonstrating it's affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so it'll spread its own, if we can achieve that goal, we could transform this planet to a sustainable one within 30 years. If you run the math, if you run the numbers on what we're doing, and you imagine 50 people coming together and creating one community, which is what we're doing, and we're building all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, plans, everything needed for this open source community ecology model. We're putting it all together so that it's easily accessible in web format, in video format, in P downloadable PDF format for people that won't have an internet access that can just download that and then take it into a remote location and use those plans to be able to replicate what it is we're doing. When you take a look at everything that we're creating, we're doing it to streamline the process make it process and demonstrate one community is a place that people can visit from anywhere in the world they can come and visit experience what it is that we're creating and if they like what it is that we're creating if they like the open source community ecology model so they can replicate it on their own wherever they want anywhere around the world and join a global cooperative a global collaborative of people working together for the highest good of all life on this planet and we think that this is the most noble Adventure, adventure that we can imagine. We want to live this way, and we want other people to live this way as well. 
because it's a solution to the greatest challenges that our generation and the next few generations will be facing. It addresses climate change. It addresses homelessness. It addresses poverty. It addresses social uh, injustice and inequality. It addresses uh, quality education. It provides energy infrastructure for people who need it when we still have like a fifth of the human population doesn't have access to pro appropriate energy infrastructure or quality education. That's amazing. The number of people that are starving every single day is absolutely staggering and shocking when we are growing enough food right now to feed everybody on the planet. Just so much of it ends up in the garbage. So we want to fix that. We want to fix it for ourselves. We want to fix it for other people. And so open source community ecology models are one way to do that. And we're creating the blueprints, the tools, tutorials, the do-it-yourself instructions to build them to build them and to build one community as a place that people can come and visit and experience, see what it is that we're creating. If they like what it is that we're creating, they can take any aspect of it or all of it and build their own self-replicating teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub as well. So this is what our all volunteer, 100% uh, unpaid nonprofit team is creating. I'm not paid for what's happening here and neither is anybody else on our team. We're creating this because we want to live this way and because we want other people to also. And we see a sustainable world as possible within our lifetime, within my lifetime. So for young people, this is needed. For those of us that are a little more advanced in years, the time is now. We have the ability to create this. And so we're bringing together people to do that. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments creating open source community ecology models uh, for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly details. This week, we continued checking measurements, created two different layouts for the loft joists, and worked on further improving the assembly step order. And the core team did one more round of edits and additions to the finished Most Sustainable Toilet Options page. This included adding more details about the brands we didn't select, adding new icons, and adding more resources. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 36th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was creating new parts files from the updated 3D parts list, double-checked all measurements and labeled all areas where improvement could be possible, outlined the new plan for descriptive and illustrative renders, and created new instructional diagrams for the frame section based on the newly revised assembly method. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bay Village. Here's weekly update 145 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was finishing the 3D model updates to the entryway and windows. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team started building the new page sharing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints. We created the initial page setup, header, and social media images, and wrote the why, summary, and FAQ sections. You can see some of this work here. Dawa Feng, civil engineer, further updated the Dubacal City Center sprinkler and emergency systems designs. This week, he eliminated all 3.5-inch pipes and replaced them with more readily available 4-inch pipes and fittings in AutoCAD and redid all the related calculations. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their fourth week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they explored options for pendant and track lights, additional corner seating, and staggered seating with storage and workspaces along the back wall. You can see some of this work here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed a seventh week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints. This week's focus was beginning the process of integrating in the lead points details related to paints. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments.
This week, the core team started adding all the highest good food rollout plan details to a staging page. This week, we rebuilt the menus and updated all the formatting, rewrote the what and why sections, and added the completed details for the initial three-person survey team. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. The core team also continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we wrote the initial rollout details covering food infrastructure for the first 20 to 50 people on the property, a newly added component maintenance building, and completed a fuel storage summary. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, completed his third week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the structural aspects of the ultimate classroom. We changed the height of the wall from four feet to five feet and updated the window wall with a window header and cripple studs. We also added sill plates and designed the foundation and the framing for the glass door. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Najera, digital marketer, continued with his 14th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he added additional keywords for the highest good education pages and then worked on the keywords for the resource-based economy, wind microgrid, solar microgrid, consensus, and evolving sustainability pages. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the highest good network software team consisting of Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team continued to work on the Redux transition, researched Mailgun to replace Gmail for the application emails, revamped our test for onboarding new test engineers, removed all the remaining bootstrap imports, debugged a 400 error, and merged our updated README into the current branch. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of open source community ecology. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog or you can visit our website. We have an immense amount of resources and information there, so much more than what we talked about in this video. So check it out, take a look. If you'd like to help out, you can visit our helping page. Uh, we've got lots of different ways to help out. Easiest way to help out is to like this video uh, or to share our information or to join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks. Whichever one you are most interested in, we're probably there. So find us there, join us, share our information uh, in the social media networks. Help us get the information out to continue to support more people and so that more people know what it is that we're doing so we can bring together even more people for the highest good uh, of all life on this planet and to create these open source community ecology models. And so with that said, thanks. 
thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your support. Uh, if you've donated to our project, as I said before, we're a 100% unpaid team. So 100% of donations go to forwarding our mission. They don't go to paychecks or uh, paying wages for myself or anybody else on the team. We're all volunteers. So if you've donated to our project, thank you for that. It does make a difference. Helps uh, cover our website expenses and other related things and to keep us moving forward. And with that said, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. See you next week.